oh, I guess I should set up a little bit straight. I, I feel like I did. I mounted my, my, my computer. Good Lord, I'm losing my mind. My mind. Um, my friends call me Moon Unit. Uh, I mounted my, uh, my cam just a little too high. I usually turn this monitor sideways. Um, and I usually had the camera in the middle, but I decided to leave the monitor alone, leave it horizontal, and it's just a little too high. I don't think I could bring it up and over. It, it would be, it may, it may look a little bit better coming from underneath the monitor, but I, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to spin the monitor around at that point. I'll have to think about it, what I like more. Yankee Gals company party went well. That's good. We have our little uh, holiday brunch tomorrow, and it was supposed to start at 9.30, but now it starts at 8 in the morning, which is breakfast, but they're still calling it brunch. So I guess at 8 in the morning, we're going to be having breakfast and lunch foods, and that'll be okay. Um, I'm not sure how that will go. I just know that I have to get up super early to get there in time. After the stream, I'll be filling up my cards and stuff for my coworkers. Uh, first brunch. It's first brunch. That makes sense. That, that really makes sense. Carl looking good back here. Carl also needs to pick up his cords that are in frame. That's actually a strap from my laptop bag for work that I got to take tomorrow. Um, I said it there. I was like, I'll put it out of the way so nobody will see it. And then you completely see it right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my life. I'm so confused. Genki's done with, uh, I've got to buy like some little side gag gifts for Christmas and then I'll be done. I think I've got everything else set. A double bacon cheeseburger for breakfast. Sign me up. Good Lord. No. I've ate so much this past week. I told you all last night. I've ate so much. I feel awful. I, uh, even today, I'm mad today, though, because my Ravens lost again. They went for two and blew it. It was the right call. I just hate the play calling they do when they do these things. Makes me so mad. But it is what it is. <sighs> I'll just have to get over it. All right. Speaking of getting over it. Hello, Alexandriev. How are you doing tonight? Hope you're having a great one. Let's go ahead and load this up. We'll load up Stream City. Ooh. We had pizza wings and traditional snack food. What is traditional snack food? Is that like... Like, I think of Pringles. Pringles. I'm doing okay, except for sitting here moaning about my football team who decided to lose again and not be first place in their division anymore. But other than that, I'm fine. I'm great. I'm hoping you all are having a wonderful time. Look at that view of the city. That is awesome. Oh, Thomas. Uh, oh, okay, Thomas, that one's a little bit better. My uncle and my aunt's from Wisconsin, so naturally she's a, a Packers fan. My uncle is a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, so he just loved the day. He got His wife gets to be happy. His Steelers won, and his Steelers beat my Ravens a couple of weeks ago. But today, like after the game, and I was like, oh, my God, that's I, I texted him. I was like, that's two games. We went for two and missed it. He totally goes, hey, thanks for the input during the game. It was fun. Smiley face. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh, it makes me so mad. All right. So we got a fire going over here. We got some uh, businesses that went out of business, which is uh We've been facing some uh, unemployment in the city. The residential area is doing really nice. Even our leftist heights, which is all of our uh, self-sustaining people over here, they uh, seem to be doing well. Sound was really loud for me. I hope 
Is it loud for you all? Y'all have to let... Oh, it's still muted for you all. There we go. Y'all have to let me know. The music's coming through awful loud for some reason. I just turned it on. Um... Let's clear up this industry. But yeah, we're having an issue with not enough buyers, so I think we're gonna have to get some more commercials. Yeah, I think I turned the music on the other night when I was rocking out for some reason because I was doing some of the other radio stations. So. I, I, I don't know. I honestly think, Pete, we played better without Lamar. Uh, Huntley is a great quarterback, and I think even though he lost this game and he, he lost the Browns game, that dude has made a lot of money for himself. He is – some team is going to gobble him up, and he's going to be a good quarterback for somebody. Yeah, all these Packer fans. Pete's like the alpha. I gave Pete so much crap over Aaron Rodgers, and I begin to like Aaron Rodgers just because of his Pat McAfee um, interviews. But, like, I, I still can get mad when they beat my Ravens. Here's the little uh, super area we made uh, just for uh, recreational. We got some people over here playing some volleyball, beach volleyball going on. Uh, it's crunch time. Here's your all's double bacon cheeseburger. You can get it at Big Bite. This old man's checking out this girl's butt, you know, uh, as his royal right on vacation. Go nuts. Go donuts. Is that gas? Only two forty nine. dollars That would be nice. Uh, and then we got natural fresh meat. And smooth, silky milk experience. So, yeah, I've realized that I put all these fishing harbors, and all this stuff over here for leisure. We got jet ski rentals, which I was kind of laughing at the jet ski. This woman's not even sitting on the bench. Uh, the jet ski rentals, uh, the jet skis are actually up high and the water level is low. So they're going to like just have to like fall off to uh, get in the water with those. Probably the same with everything else here. But I did notice that once you uh, market leisure, like it's a leisure zone, all of your commercial areas, if you look back here, turn to hotels. Uh, and like little tourist trap places. We've got the Swordfish Seafood Grill. We've got the Club 801. Electronica. I don't know what these two dudes are doing here. Um, um, guess that's what Club 801 is all about. We got the Trinket Emporium. That dude's getting his own trinket. Um, and then you go down here and we got some, uh, like the, just the resorts that are up and about. And I think that's like the coolest thing in the world. Maybe this is where they were at. They were at uh, Patty's Pub. What is this place? Oh, can we go in here in the Go Nuts, Go Donuts place? Oh, it's the wave. Wait a second, I've seen that movie. I know where that's leading. Uh, Leftus Heights is the self-sufficient uh, area of town where they live on their own. Uh, we've enabled uh, marijuana is allowed in that section, so they uh, recycle and do a lot of stuff that uh, helps that part of the city. We can go over there and take a look at that real quick. Um, I put that in just so we would know what it was. So yeah, they practice recycling and all sorts of other things. I uh, Recreational use of marijuana. Uh... There is a smoking ban, which I find hilarious. Um, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm not sure how that one got turned on. I, I must have double clicked when I did recycling in this. Is the game really over loud? I wonder why. Here, I'll turn it down. I'm not sure why it's going bonkers tonight. But anyway, hopefully that's a little bit better. So we'll go down here and check out some of that. So yeah, they just have different, a lot of, a lot of, for still sufficient, they still wanted me to hook up water to them. Got a lot of hippie cars over here. But, um, actually, I think I might be out of the wrong area. Hold on. There we go. But yeah, they got a lot of like wooden houses and stuff.
Though some of the houses, I don't think, uh, I wonder what, like, I should make a few of these houses be like the high dense. Like, I wonder what high density of these houses. Why, why are these like this? Are they, are they in the same area? Oh, they're not. Okay. Hmm. So now I'm curious and I want to do something. How about these houses right back here? Let's... They're in the zone, right? Let's expand this over here. Just make sure it counts all that. I like the Gateway Street. It is the uh, street that separates the left this town from uh, the rest of it. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll make this street here high density, and then this street over here, and just see what difference comes up house-wise. Let me see here. Uh, give me that. We'll undo this, and then we'll make it... I will. And then we'll do that with this street over here, too, which I'll have to add this one to the uh, zone. So congratulations, uh, Popcorn Street. You are now part of this area of town. And, and I, I'm, I'm curious to see what kind of, like, like, these are like the big residentials or dense residentials for normal. I'm curious, like, what the if there are self sustaining high ones. All right, when do the uh, the Larry Bird honorary court? Our next game is next year. They're still six and oh, they've not lost. Well, yeah, I think the smoking ban would be in restaurants, but with that being just uh houses uh, they could smoke in their own houses if they want i don't think these houses here are going to work just because this is a tourist area now last time we thought about doing an amusement park but i've also been kind of debating between that and maybe doing a zoo i thought a zoo would be fun because i've never done a zoo i don't know what it would look like but i feel like we could maybe have some fun with that i would probably run JLo Street. Why, why is JLo Street not going all the way out here? There must be different kinds of streets. Here. Oh no, there we go. We can run JLo Street all the way up here to it. So we'll have to make a decision what we want to do with that. But I do like our little leisure area here. I may add another row of Here's the thing I thought I could change is I thought that little zoning thing would uh it would force the zoning get rid of it over here. Maybe I could turn that off. Hold on. So we have a tree boulevard. So if I do zoning depth of, oh, it wants to do one. Can't turn it to zero though. That would be nice. Prioritize newer roads. I wonder if that'll help. Hold on. We'll try that. Ah, okay, there we go. Um, 
come out a little bit. There we go. So that little zoning thing that somebody alluded to last night really does work. Uh, let's put some more basic commercial here. And then I want to put some dense commercial on this street. We'll see what happens to that area. And what do we have here? Okay, these are big commercials, right? Yeah. I really was thinking about switching our office spaces here and moving them here and putting this dense commercial over here. Then that way we got like a big commercial spot of town. I don't know if I'm sold on that idea just yet. I may let you all talk me in or out of that. Some high res there. This is the big part of town. I love this part of town right here. This is like where everything hits. We got the big walkway. The old man's going up that hill pretty good with uh, his cane. It's just this whole area here is just awesome. I got another mod that's supposed to make everything look a little higher quality. Part of it does. The tall commercial towers look great when ESPN 37 comes in to cover games at the Larry Bird Memorial. Yeah. Here's Andy's Bowling Alley. That's an awful small building for a bowling alley. Speaking of the Larry Bird Arena, boom. Yeah, if they could ever mod it to where like whatever you named it appeared on the building, that would be awesome. Or you could design the signs. That would be cool. I think it's a small building for a bowling alley. Yeah, it's this one right here. That just seems awful tiny for a uh, bowling alley. I mean, maybe the lanes go lengthwise. But... I mean, this looks cool. Facility empty. Okay, yes. Thanks, game, for telling me the one building that's empty. I don't even see it. Are we growing over here? Oh, yes, more hotels. I love it. And we got to, oh, check out this one. We got the Club Shatan. There's the bulky gold beach. People going crazy over here. I wish this had a, uh, that's interesting. But yeah, the uh, this, that's terrifying on that building. That's some uh, bank robbing uh, abilities. So that's cool. All right, so. Calls in the record for, I wonder if he's still there. Nah, it looks like he's moved on his way. The mega store. I'll probably have to put a cop over here. I would say crime is high in this area since it's tourism. Not really. Not really. Okay. Hey, we are a capital city. Holy crap. We have 34,000 people. We can now do a university campus, set campus area to university by placing university administration building inside the campus area. University campus provides university level education. Gaining reputation unlocks new buildings, increases the tuition fees the students pay and affects the amount of exchanges to exchange students visiting your city and much more.
Oh, that's cool. So we could actually do that. And we could do harbors. American football stadium. An open air college stadium with seating circling the field of play. Can be placed in and outside of campus. And this is an eco advanced inland water treatment facility. I probably need to build one of those. So maybe instead of the amusement park, we put a university over here. And then we could always put the amusement park over here on this island. So you go through our tourist trap and then you got like a zoo or whatever on this island here. I kind of like that idea too. Empty and finished. Okay, well, we can uh, have you go back to work. Hmm. So what do we got to do to do the university? This building defines the campus area type to university. Allows reputation pro progress. Um, it's still locked. I don't know why. I'm kind of, I don't understand. How, is this one of these? Tour, parks. So now I need that. I, I think I do want to do that. Let's do a university. We'll have JLo Street come up here and meet with it. Um... Okay, we're, we're, we need it to be daytime. My question is, is do we put the university on this island over here? Oh, here's the self-sufficient, uh... Oh, they look pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. They look kind of old school. Oh, this one's got like gardens on top of it. So even the self-sufficient uh, housing looks pretty neat. Need room for the on? Yeah, we're definitely putting the campus state. How big is that? I wonder. Oh my God. We could put that right back here. And then have the university like be on this island and then right here. So like kind of like obviously here and then up to here. And obviously we could expand it toward the city if we need to. Um, okay. So how do I want to do this? Okay, so it starts like right here. Like right at the bottom of this bar. So 
if we bring a road here to here oh that looks like that'll work okay And I love the fact that Jaylu, Jenny from the block, is going to take us up to the university. All right, so just a little uh, boundary here. We'll just go over to this way. And we'll go over this way. Just kind of so we know. So... I'm curious now. Can we just make this? Paint can't. Oh, I, I gotta paint a different area. Oh, okay. Well, that'll work good. Let me get rid of this other one then. Right, we'll get rid of this. Maybe once we paint the area, it will allow it. Ah, it said it. Build an administration building. Very nice. This could be a cool looking campus. We could have little walkway bridges. Maybe even like put some stuff over here on this part. What we'll have to start doing though is definitely build going the other way. We probably need to put some more commercial over here. Oh! Before I forget, I figured out how to make this little mod work where you change the terrain. We were always worried about this terrain height. You could set that with right clicking. So if you notice, it says 224. If I click right here, it moves to 330, 388. And then you can actually just do stuff. Oh, you want to do the top part? You click up there. 459. So you right click to set it. And then you left click to uh, do everything else. Now, industry, I'm not sure why you all are struggling. Because I'm pretty sure you've got plenty of stuff to sell to. You're just being wishy washy. What do these people need? Not enough educated workers. Are we going to have to build some elementary schools first? We, well. We're about 100 students short, so we need another elementary school. I guess we'll put it over here, another one in leftist heights. And we need another high school. All right, that means we get the name stuff again. I know you all get excited for that. So let's put in another elementary school. Uh, where can I put it? Maybe here on Gateway Street? I don't know if it'll fit here. Oh, sure it can. All right, so another elementary school. We need to name this after a wrestler. So let me bring up my random wrestler generator. Uh, 
And then we will bring up a random celebrity generator. I don't want that one we had last night. Yeah, I want this one that brings up multiple ones. All right, so for the elementary school, we will do random wrestlers. And uh, we'll see who we get and who you all like. Boom, we've got Seth Rollins. That's CrossFit Jesus. We have on all oh, Curtis Axel and Cody Rose. Andre the Giant as well. So, if only it was his father. If only. So, who do we name the elementary school? Andre the Giant Elementary? <laughs> that sounds so funny. I think I approve with that. I think that's the best of the bunch. Though Seth Rollins would be a good one. So, we'll go with that. Unfortunately, he has to be here in Leftist Heights. All right, so this will be Andre the Giant Primary School. Boom. All right, so high school now. Remember, high schools get named after... We may put that, like, right here on the edge of this park. High schools get named after celebrities. Uh, will you fit? Oh, you'll fit right there. Perfect. All right. We got a new high school. Let me bring out the random celebrity generator, and we will get this going. And, uh... What options do I get here? Oh, it's just celebrities. Oh, I could just do people in general. We'll do eight people and see who it brings up. Yeah. All right. So we'll do this and we'll see what happens. Boom. Oh, God, it went. <laughs> it went all over the place. Uh, we got Bob Hope. We got Coco Chanel. We got Steve Carroll. Bill Gates. Voltaire. <laughs> Emeril Lagasse, bam! There's some education. James Dean and then Eva Longoria. Wow. Um, Voltaire High School in Leftist Heights sounds amazing. Oh, people are pushing for Bill Gates. That is wrong on a few levels. <laughs> well, Bill Gates would fit there too. Right now I'm split between Bill Gates and Voltaire. Though his cheeks are very rosy in this picture. I feel like this is, he's got brighter cheeks than Eva Longoria. Look at this. I don't know if you all could see that that well, but. All right, chat. So which do we go for? Voltaire? Or Bill Gates. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what you all pick for this one. The French in their makeup. Oh man, people are starting to pull toward Voltaire. <laughs> all right voltaire it is that is pretty funny hey that's what this city's all about it's to freak out people all right well they got a choice they've got this school and then there's another one All right, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on changing these zones. So I'm going to dezone this and make it dense commercial, and then I'm gonna make this offices. Let me pause this, because this is gonna be a pain. We're going to take a big hit to the city, too, when I do this, but it's okay.
All right, so this will all redo. Oh, whoops. We have stuff right here on Blame J2 Street. We'll add it. We'll see what it does. All right, that's going to cause a big disturbance in the force. We're at 34735. It will probably drop. Okay. So we'll let that all. Yeah, we're going to. It's going to just. Uh, uh, they say they don't have water over here. We can take care of that. Uh, what do you all, what do you all got a problem with? Not enough customers. Well, I don't know what to tell you all because, uh, you're just going to have to bring in more people. All right, back to our campus area. Let me go ahead and reset this back to daytime here. we changed our latitude and longitude oh good god oh my god the sun's gonna explode okay I, sh I shouldn't mess with that I guess I, set, I thought I set that to the, like the day. Maybe the ambient light was up on something. Oh yeah, I guess it does need to be up. Maybe on one. Okay. There we go. <laughs> now it's daytime. Uh, okay, to the university. Ah, the university administration building. So you'll come into the campus and then let's... uh. Let's have a nice little one-way street here. And then we'll have the administration building. Time to roll up the sleeves and get cracking. Hashtag scholars, hashtag scientific, hashtag education. So we'll bring this back just a little bit. All right. So next to that building, well, this is where you like got to do some artsy stuff. We'll put some. Uh... We'll put some picnic tables out here. Put a little fountain. The trash cans. And obviously a little gazebo back here. Now why does that light come on? It's a little weird. I 
But I don't understand why some of them come on and some of them don't. Uh, let's see. We need to have a toilet paper tree that uh, other schools want to get around. Put one right there. Right there. And then maybe a big humongous. And they'll decorate that one up for Christmas. Budget cuts already. Oh, I bet I cut off power to part of my city. Yep. Um... I wonder if that counts. Looks like we got some crime popping up. Not a fan about that. What's my crime rate? 7%? Please. They are complaining about nothing right now. We need to run power out here. Actually, I shouldn't have to go anymore, should I? I don't, I don't like how power works in this game. It makes no sense to me. So it's gonna make me plug. Okay. All right, campus building, turn your power on. Building a unique faculty increases student capacities and unlocks citywide faculty bonus. Okay. Um, we probably need to work on some paths for the college. You know, so we'll have to, you want them to be able to walk places. It's weird that it shows that you can uh, do that, but you have to actually start right here. So we'll have a path going out that way. Then, uh, then a path going out this way. And then we'll work on those soon. Actually, I should make one go out to this way, too. Because you'll want to walk away eventually to the uh, football stadium. <whistles> Gotta get that crime to zero. Uh, you could name it. We haven't named the university yet, so. D3 Dreams, that's right. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, the University Dormitory. A dormitory is a residential building for students uh, for the duration of their academic studies. Building increases campus area's attractiveness, student capacity, and requires a university campus area. Uh, here's a study hall. Students with spare time can use the study hall to do their homework, projects, and prepare to exams. Do their homework projects or prepare to exams. Prepare to exam. 
Building increases campus attractiveness and needs to be placed within campus university. Uh, we have university groundskeeping. Groundskeepers working hard to keep campus area premises clean, tidy, and aesthetically pleasing. Building increases campus attractiveness and land value of campus. Okay. And then we have the Futsal Club. The Futsal Club is open for all fans, players, and coaches. Okay, so none of this stuff actually helps us study. 